Hello friends, it's Simone. Guess what? I have a new Benu pen. Yes, this is something that happened really often in the last uh, two months, but I think this is the last one for a while. I purchased the Atlas Exclusive Euphoria Gold Coast, and I already looked at it, and I have to tell you that this is probably by far my most favorite Benu Euphoria that I have seen. Let's just, let's just take a moment and look at this. I hope you can see the uh, pearlescence. It, it appears to be purple up here all the way through the uh, light blue. It's almost jade. Uh, colored section right here. It is uh, three colored. There is this golden, yeah, amber color at the bottom. Then we have this um, jade blue. It does look like the ocean. You you feel like this is the beach, this is the shoreline, and then there is the, the ocean. Then you have this dark blue section up here, but there is lots and lots of tiny tiny glitter in the in the front and um yeah and then it's it's um interspersed with these flecks of uh shimmery stuff i i don't know what that is uh what i like about this specifically is that the um cap band which is the same material as the the rest of the pen uh is the same color so it doesn't stand out. There is flat tops. This is what it looks like right here. And then this is what it looks like at the bottom. It is super even. I I haven't I haven't really seen any other Benu Gold Coast pens. So if you ordered one, um, I would love to see a photo. Um, I'd love to see the variants. And then the grip section. Here is the same color, is this jade turquoise. It is translucent, so you see the black um, color for the nib and feed. It comes with a Schmidt nib. It's a regular steel nib. I ordered medium because that was the only one that was still in stock. It was a pre-order. I ordered it at the end of June and I received it now at the end of July, or very close to the end of July. And these nibs are interchangeable. So if you wanted to, you could purchase just the nib with the collar um, and then different nib sizes and swap them out. So you don't have to have like tons of different pens. It comes with a con converter, international standard converter and a long cartridge, which I usually don't use. Um, in the box that is sturdy cardstock, let me close all of this again. There is instructions and warranty, and that's it. So let's look at the pen more closely, compare it with other pens and then I'll show you my whole Benu collection because I actually have a collection now which I didn't really expect to have. Let's just look at this one more time. So it is a large pen. I made this with just some card stock and paper and I'm going to compare it with a Lamy, Lamy All-Star which is the same size as the Lamy Safari, a Kaweco, Kaweco Sport and a Twisby Eco. The Twisby Eco and the Lamy All Star Safari are pretty much the same size. The uh, Benu Euphoria is quite, it's almost about a centimeter longer when it's all capped. Um, I also brought these two pens because these are pretty big pens in comparison to the others. So I'm just going to move those to the side for a sec so we can 
see what these look like in comparison. So this is the Pilot Custom A23 lengthwise. They're very similar as well as the Esterbrook SD. Same thing lengthwise. They look the same. However, because of the um, facets and the girth of the pen, this looks more um, much bigger, even though they do not um, have a different length. Probably it's because these are cigar shaped, these have flat tops, this just looks bigger. But they're in fact not. So let's move these aside and then compare these unposted. I personally do not use this pen unposted. It, it fits comfortably in my hand like so. Um, it's okay, well weighted, it's light, it's a light pen. This is a resin pen. Um, can you post this? You could. It doesn't feel like it's meant to be posted. It looks really weird, uh, but it does post. Not really securely though. Mm, well, ish. Um, and it doesn't back weight the pen. So if you would prefer this, it's not like, oh, well, it will fall out of my hand, but it's not, it doesn't feel too heavy. However, to me, this just doesn't look very aesthetic. Um, so let's compare the standard pens that probably most of you at least have one of them in your stashes. I, as, again, with I do not post Lamy Safaris or Lamy All-Stars. Also do not post Twisby Ecos. I do post um, Kaweco Sports, however. So these come all about to be about the same height, all of those, the Lamy, the Twisby, and the Kaweco. However, the uh, Euphoria stands out like about maybe 0 0.75 centimeters here. Um, and if you would post the Lamy, let me know in the comments below if you post Lamis. I would love to know. And if you post Ecos. I feel like the Lamy is okay-er to be posted. But because, because it goes deep, it sits deeper on the pen, posts deeper, like the Caveco. There's a whole lot of pen inside the cap. But with the Twisby Eco, when you post this, it's just sitting on the back of this pen and makes it so long. So this is what this looks like. Not really something that I would personally do. The only pen I would post is the Caveco Sport. But if you were looking to see what it looks like posted, then that is what it is. Let me move all of those aside and just compare with the two bigger pens. I can move this over here. Again, I do not post either one of those. I, I Sometimes I, I in, do with the SD and it is postable, makes it pretty long. It's, however, it's pretty short when it's not posted. So this is an in-between pen for me. It's like, it's too, almost too short when it's posted uh, when it's uncapped, not posted, and it's almost too long and unwieldy when it is posted. Um, but, and that's why, I guess, this is also the shortest pen. And then the Euphoria is the longest. I personally like not posting my pens or not having to post my pens. So this is the perfect pen size for me. It is long enough to stick out of the crook of my hand and doesn't feel like it, it's going to fall through. Even though with the SD, it is not going to fall. It still feels like it's too small sometimes, especially when I think about it. But that's the comparison. I hope this was helpful to you. Let's weigh the pen and measure the girth of the section. All right, this pen weighs 
30, 28 grams. I have to write it down because I cannot remember this. Euphoria is 27 grams capped and would weigh 27 grams posted. And then uncapped, it is 14. And then let us measure the section. I think I said it before, but if this is your first video, then I usually measure right down here where it tapers down. This is often where my hand with my fingers would sit. 10, 10. That sounds, sounds about right. And then I think this is, maybe I'll hold it a little bit further back. So here, and then I measure where my, my hands are actually going to be. My fingers, not hands. 1071. Okay, so that's the girth of the section. Let me just bring out my book and then we com can compare it to other section widths. Nope, that's not right here. It's right here. Um, the red is where I hold it. The black is where Goulet measures it. Uh, Twisby Mini is 11.2. This always surprises me. The uh, Pilot A23 is 11.74. Kaweco Sport 9.6. Lamy Safari 9.5 millimeters. Uh, the Lamy 2000, where I hold it, is 11.6. And I think that's it. Did I have the Benu Euphoria right here? I said 10.8. That actually measures pretty well or pre compares pretty well to what I just measured. Um, and then let's dip test this pen and see what it looks like when we write it. Test the nib and see what happens. Oops. I put away all of those pens and then I sh I'll show you. I Right now, I do have three Bennu Euphorias in my collection and one Bennu Ambrosia I, or Ambrosia. I do not have a Bennu Talisman. I pre briefly had one and then I realized that I prefer the shape of the Euphoria. And so I sold it and just decided I would wait and hope for them to make nice Bennu Euphoria models. And I actually think they are doing that at the moment. So let's, maybe we can copy that. Probably the B and the E, the B line and the E line are on the same height, but it's actually moved up a little. So this B is not correct. And then we have a tiny slender and then this really chunky N in the middle. I really like that. Um, it's very, what is the style? Um, oh my gosh, I don't remember. Huh, if I remember, I will put it, this is probably not what it looks like. No, it tapers down like so. Well, okay. This is the Euphoria model. And it has a medium nib. And I really like this medium nib. It's very smooth. It doesn't feel like uh, it... Um, scratches anywhere, Atlas, Stationers. And I actually really like the blue in this pen right now. I, I'm surprised. Um, Gold Coast. It's very smooth. I had a little problem with the first Benno Euphoria that I had. And then let's just do downstrokes, side strokes, upstrokes, and strokes 
it feels really well balanced, very smooth in all directions. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. These pens are pretty, the nibs are pretty wet. And so I have had um, not the best experience with the medium nib because I had put very wet in inks in them. Um, I if, if I was using wet inks, I probably would prefer the fine nib. I did, do not currently have it inked, but these are the other two venues that I have in my, or euphorias that I have in my collection. And they're basically pretty different in the fact that this one uh, has the cap band is the same color as the rest of the pen. It fits right in with the pen design. And then the section and the threads here are all the same color. Uh, which is something that I really like about most of the pen, most pens. And so this is the first Bennu that I purchased and it had a black cap band, which in this case is not very, um, sh you know, it doesn't stand out too much. And then the grip section and the threads are black. This is the one with the fine nib, but as I said, I can just unscrew this and put it into this pen if I wanted to have it that way. I also really like this. This was my first one. I really like this because it's dark blue. It has some shimmery stuff going on, but it's not as out there as other Benu pens. Um, and then this one, here the cap band again, um, breaks up the design that is going through the barrel and the cap. I don't, I'm not bothered by this and also not bothered by this because it's very, it fits in with the pen design well, but many of the Euphoria models had black cap bands and black grip sections and it just didn't look really nice. So I'm really happy that they're moving away from that into these full design pens. This is what I saw with many of the Talisman models and I never really saw any appealing Euphorias, but now they they are stepping up their game with the Euphoria models and they're coming out with so many that I like that it's really, really hard to stop collecting them. But I, I think three is good. Here, this has a very 80s vibe for me um, with these um, almost neon pinks, greens and blues. And then the color blocking here and then the confettis and the milkshake. I think... And I th think I said it before in another video, but not in the Benu context. What is really not appalling, that's not the right word, but the way uh, the confetti sprinkles are embedded in the clear acrylic here or resin. And then the the milk milky color of the rest of the uh, pen inter mixes with this doesn't I don't know it just makes me think of something bad when I see it so I'm not sure at the moment I, I like it I'm okay with it but I might actually sell this at some point so I have um, these three and then the last Benu pen that I currently own is this this is the uh, ambrosia brown orchid this is the most fun pen that i have ever owned in my or had in my collection it's this weird cigar shape there is flowers on the cap band it's super short looks strange and then when you post it it posts quite securely you have this fairly uh large pen and it is actually really, really comfortable to write. This one also has a fine nib. And I really love, what I really love about the fine nibs with Benu is that they are really wet. 
And so you have this fine line, but it still glides over the paper really smoothly and puts down a lot of ink, which I really enjoy. So how is your Bennu collection growing? Um, have you had, do you have experience with Bennu pens? Uh, what's your favorite nib size? What's your favorite pen? I would love to know. I think I'm going to stop with Bennu for now because I just, I would probably start amassing them. Um, and I think in a previous video, if you were, if you have been a subscriber and longtime viewer, I said, I don't want to collect pens. I don't want to amass pens just to have them. But these are just so pretty. I'm a total Benu convert and I, yeah, I couldn't recommend them highly enough. Um, let me know your experience in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye.